We're both super excited to have you guys coming to Rare Disease Week on Capitol Hill. We're both super passionate about engaging the young adult voice and you're taking the first step in fighting for your future just by coming here and being active. For guys, you have it much easier. You wear a nice suit, you bring a nice button up, make sure you're wearing comfortable shoes, and you're kind of set. For girls, it's a bit harder. Yeah, definitely. These are two of our go-to outfits. Taylor's is a bit more business casual, whereas mine's a little bit more business formal. Both are appropriate and acceptable. It's kind of whatever vibe you would like to go for. Also, depending on the day, this outfit might be more appropriate for the conference uh, on Rare Disease Week versus maybe not as good for the um, cocktail party, which is more what this might be an option for. Yeah, however, these are both um, acceptable for lobby day. Yes. Keep in mind your audience, and DC tends to be a little bit more conservative, not talking Republicans versus Democrats, just conservative in style and attitude. So being simple, looking youthful, not trying to look too old, because again, there's power in your age. Yeah, and you want people to be focusing on what you're saying rather mm -hmm. than what you're wearing or what you have on your face. So your words are your most powerful, your most powerful tool. What is it, like the pen is mightier than the sword? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The pen is mightier than the sword. The <laughs> words are mightier than the sword. I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. Dress conservatively, but comfortably, but youthfully. Keep your hair um, pulled back or out of your face. Keep makeup to a minimum. Wear comfortable shoes um, that don't have too high of a heel. That you've already broken in. Yes. <laughs> Definitely already broken in. Bring winter coats and hats and gloves and scarves. I hammer this point in because I made the mistake one of my first times at Capitol Hill, and it was February, and I regret it. <laughs> really um, regretted it. Have something with pockets or like a small, small clean purse to just keep your phone and your other belongings in, um, or like a dress or a skirt or pants with pockets. That would work too. Yeah. I think that's it. All right. Those those are those are Taylor and Shira's dress, dress code, code tips. tips. <laughs> Hopefully you found this helpful. We know that this can be a bit of a confusing and even sensitive topic just because of body shaming issues, but we want to be clear that we're trying to empower all of you to have your voices heard on the hill and want you to have the best chance of success and don't want your clothes or your makeup or your hair to be a limitation in that sense. If you have any questions leading up to your disease week, you found an outfit that you're not sure if it'll work or whatever it is, feel free to contact us. My contact information is right here and mine is right here. So yeah, you can email us whatever, send us pictures, ask us questions. Yeah. DM us on social media, we're, we're there. Yeah. <laughs>